Okay, guys, welcome to question two. So what do we have here? So a state, stand, a state agent is studying the cost of office space in London. He takes a random sample of 90 offices and calculates the cost x pound per square foot. His results are given in the table below. So first things first, for every type of question, we should always record the end value of n. So we can say here that we have a total sample size of 90. Or, according to this table, a total frequency of 90. You could use both here. Okay, so they're both the same. All right, now you're given some more data. You're given the midpoint value of y, so they've already done the midpoint for us, which is nice of them. And they've already gone ahead and calculated the sum of um, f times y squared. So they would calculate y squared here and just multiply them across and, and, and found the sum of it. This would be useful for calculating standard deviation and variance and stuff. Anyway, back to the problem. Now, a histogram is drawn for these data, and the bar is representing between 50 to 60 is 2 centimeters wide and 8 centimeters high. Calculate the width and height of the bar represent the, representing 20 to 40. So, my advice for every histogram based question, I would just draw a little sketch on the side and just label the x axis the class width, representing in this case the cost, and the, the, the vertical and the y axis the, the frequency density. This represents um, the height in, in this sense here. Yeah? And then if you think about the area or the bar inside, this will be the frequency. So we can think of it like an area of a rectangle. We can say that the class width base times height equals area, or class width times frequency density is frequency. So this formula I always relate when I do histogram questions. I recommend you put this down. This is very useful. Now, for example, why? If we look at the cost, let's go ahead and evaluate the class widths here. Yeah? What do we have here? So we have a class width of 20. Here we have a class width of 5. So just find the differences. Um, oh my god, I'm so slow. 5, 10, got my 5 is so ugly, and 20. So now, and then we just make an extra column, we call it frequency density. Now, using this formula, let's calculate the frequency densities of um, all of them. Why not? So we can say first things first, um, frequency density equals, using the formula, it will just be frequency over class width. So this is just simply frequency over class width. So in your calculator, the first one will be 12 over 20. Keep as a decimal, yeah? Get 0 0.6, 13 over 5, 2.6, and so on. So keep doing this until you get all the relevant results, yeah? Eight, I should in eight, eight, I think it's 0 0.4. Yep. Okay, now that's useful. So the whole point of this is that these are just units, right? And we're given some information in centimeters. So I always use ratios now to figure this out. This is such a useful method. We compare units to centimeters. So what do we do? So we can say that for every, let's have a look. All right, so let's 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 just discuss the 50 to 60 bar, yeah. We can say for the 360 bar, for let's let's um, discuss firstly the frequency density, the height here. Yeah? This is the frequency density. We can say that for every 3.2 units of height, this is equivalent to a height of 8 centimeters. So first thing first, just find what one unit is divided by 3.2. It will just be 8 over 3.2, which is 2.5. So every one unit is 2.5 centimeters of height, meaning if we're going to calculate now the 20 to 40 region, which is 0 0.6, so that means 0 0.6 units times that by 0 0.6, and you should get 1.5. Done. So 1.5 centimeters represents the height. As for the, the width now, let me change to red. We do the same thing and for width. So we've got units to a centimeter. So according to the 50 to 60, for every, what do we, where's the width? Okay, the width is a class width here. Yeah? So for every width is 10. 10 units represent, according to the data, 2 centimeters. So it's quite easy. So for one unit, this is going to be divided by 10, 0 0.2 centimeters. Meaning for the, what we want for the 20 to 40 region, for 20 uh, units, times it by 20 and you get 4 centimeters. And that's it. The width is 4. Easy.